what's going on guys beastly gamer here welcome to the channel today I want to show you guys exactly what is available for PlayStation's PlayStation now beta for the PS4 I rented Resident Evil the Dark Side Chronicles already but I want to show you guys a little bit of the UI and what you can expect when you rent a game from PlayStation now for the guys out there who don't know what PlayStation now is it's PlayStation's new streaming service which is kind of similar to Netflix you can go into PlayStation now you can check out the library of games which at the moment they have 122 games and you can rent one of these games you can rent multiple games if it's something that interests you a lot of people out there have been upset about the pricing and I gotta say I'm actually pretty pleased with the prices I'm seeing here uh, a lot of the guys out there have been exposed to only the most negative of the prices and uh, I gotta say there's a lot of positivity here games like Alone in the Dark you can pay $4.99 and get it for 90 days that is the only price for that game other games like let me see let's move over to Dead Island Riptide it starts at $3.99 so it's $3.99 for four hours and it goes all the way up to $24.99 for 90 days which is actually one of the the down marks of this beta uh, $24.99 for Dead Island Riptide you'd actually be able to buy that game for cheaper at GameStop or at a video game retailer uh, let's see some of the other stuff on here is really really good um, check out some some video games shall we you can get Samurai Showdown for nine dollars for 90 days uh, Xeno Clash okay it starts at $2.99 for four hours and $4.99 for 90 days uh, so Xeno Clash is actually a pretty decent game for, for especially if you don't have a lot of video games for your PS4 uh, it would be a pretty good value for that price five dollars for 90 days you're not really gonna miss out anything alright let's continue Darksiders 2, this is one of, one of the others that I saw that didn't really impress me. 90 days, you, you can get it for 90 days for $29.99. Uh, you can buy this game for a lot cheaper than that in a video game retailer. Uh, some of the other games are actually pretty cheap. It goes from $2.99 to $8.99. I mean $7.99 for 90 days. So $8 for 90, 90 days for Dragon's Lair, the arcade game. Earth Defense Force price goes all the way up to fifteen dollars for ninety days, starting off at two ninety nine. So it all depends on what you like. They got tons of different games here from different genres, from different generations of games. They got PSN stuff, PS3 stuff. They've even got some PS4 stuff. I'm sure Contrast is here. Yeah, Contrast was a, a PS4 launch title. It goes up to twelve dollars for ninety days. So it's not the worst pricing, but Sony has assured us that this pricing will not be reflected in the final product this is in fact a beta they have also stated that there will be a subscription model that allows you to pay a monthly premium to have access to this library which I think everybody will probably utilize a little bit more pixel junk monsters one of my favorite pixel junk games eight dollars ninety days it's a good price uh, if you guys haven't played this game please do it's very fun um, let me see twisted metal goes all the way up to $14.99 for 90 days starting off at three dollars for four hours I think Metal Gear is probably similar yep four dollars for four hours up to fifteen dollars for 90 days so I think the four hour run is just to get you just to get you in there but if you really want the game and you want to play it they're going to they're going to be able to pull you in with that 90 days one of the greatest Resident Evil Co Veronica fifteen dollars 90 days so these prices are really pretty pretty competitive uh, and if you guys hear that crackling upstairs uh, some morbidly obese ladies are up there uh, rolling together it looks like two pigs fighting over a milk dud okay um, Sonic CD five dollars for 90 days uh, it's not the worst thing it's not the best thing and at the same time Sony is listening to its consumers Sony is working with us they want to make PlayStation now something that's going to be very user friendly and everybody's going to want to utilize it it will remove a lot of us having to go out and find games that, that we want to play, find old consoles, it kind of makes the PS4 backwards compatible. Now it's time for the video game playtest. Let me move over, I did rent a game. The game that I rented is Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, which is right here. Now, uh, if, you, if you're renting more than one game, you can come over here to the UI and go to My PlayStation Now Games, and it will pop up all your rentals. And I rented this two hours ago. I've already tried it, but I want to tell you guys now, it plays great. The I didn't think it would be this seamless. This it feels exactly the same way it did on the Wii. 
um, we beat this game on the Wii, and that's the reason I wanted to play it. I wanted to see exactly how much latency I would get playing this game on the PS4 versus the Wii, because the Wii version you use the uh, Wii Mote, and um, the the PS4 version you actually use the analog controller, and it feels really tight. It feels really. Um, it doesn't feel like you're streaming. It doesn't feel like you're watching a YouTube video. And as you guys can see, it looks like the the actual game. It doesn't look visibly any different, not really noticeably different, and uh, I'm very pleased with it, so I'm going to play a little bit of it, I'm going to talk to you guys while I play, and uh, you guys be sure to comment down in the comment section below, let me know what you think about PlayStation Now, is this something that you're going to be using, what are some of the things that uh, Sony could do to make PlayStation Now a better service for gamers, I do hope, this is something that I was thinking about myself, I hope that they, uh, let me pick that up, I do hope that they um, allow users to actually buy the games that they've rented on numerous occasions. If you rent a game two or three times and you've given your money to Sony, they should be able to give you some form of discount uh, over, you know, just the regular retail. I think that that would be a good thing for consumers. Hey dude, I see you. Sit down. I want the chick. But as you guys can see, it's, it works pretty well. It's a little awkward using both of these analogs to to move this reticle around. Oh snap! Here they come, baby! Here they go! Oh, shit! Getting getting attacked by tilapia. Black man's dream. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me see. It feels really it feels really tight. I don't like spiders. And it feels pretty good. You guys let me know down in the comment section what you think about PlayStation Now. Do you think it's going to be a pretty good service? Do you think it'll fire crash to the ground before it even takes off? I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Is this something you guys are going to be using at all? Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate all the support. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.